Hi guys, hope you're fine and having a good day so far. If you guys are struggling how to make survey form in Google Forms, then don't worry, we will go through step by step and we will guide you how to make a Google Forms or any registration form using Google Form. So, get started. Uh, first of all, make sure you are uh, signed in to the Gmail. As you can see that I am logged in with the Gmail account. If you are not logged in with the Gmail account, make sure you will create and log in. Then search Google Forms in Google. Once you open, there is two options. One is personal and uh, the other one is for the business. We are creating personal because I want to use for personal purposes. But if you want to use uh, for a business purpose, you can use the business option. Once you click on the personal option, you can see by default there are some templates available and you can see the forms you have created already in the below section. So there is a party invite, contact information, predefined forms are there. You can use that as well or if you want to create from the scratch, click on the blank. Once you click on the blank option, it will open a brand new form where you can write from the scratch. On the top there is form name form description so I will write registration form in the title section in the top you can see questionnaires and responses we will talk about that later so f first form uh, the first question now I'm going to add some question the first question will be first name and the required option should be there so that user cannot skip to the next question and the type should be short answer the ne next question will be your last name so required should be on and type should be short answer sometimes it's a pickup by default just like the third option I will write gender so it should be multiple choice question so user have multiple choice to select there are a lot uh, already uh, there are different types of options already they are just like you can add checkboxes uh, drop down paragraph short answer you can even upload file so as per your requirement you can create form the next question will be date of birth so once you're going to type it automatically detect by AI that the option should be date of birth so there are a lot of types are there like month day year or if you want to change the date you can do it as per your requirement now i'm adding questions as per my requirement you can add as many questions as per your need as you can see that i have created multiple questions like city state country mobile number now I'm going to add some more option like city, state and mobile number. So you can amend like I have said you can amend as per your need. Like you can add mobile number, address, certification, your last degree, whatever as per your requirement. Now if you want to see your current forms that you have created there is an option in the top view. So once you click that one, you can see your entire form, how it looks like. Now I'm going to fill the form I have created. Right now responses are zero. So once I'm going to fill that form, the count will be increased. So that number shows that how many submission form has been done. now you can see that the response count has been increased to one and there are three options as you can see that uh, one is summary the second one is question and individual in the summary you can see everything in the, in, in the individual right now you can see the same as summary but once i will uh, submit the new one you will see the difference so i'm going to submit a new form so once uh, that is done the count will be increase as you can see in the screen now now you can move individually from one to two and it will display 
uh, both different uh, the name now it's uh, Ahmed that once it's changed you can see that uh, it is changed now and that's all for today um, subscribe for uh, upcoming videos hope you like it and share your review so that we can improve together